night. I'm just trying to set up a little bit better. And my hair is a mess and I look officially a mess. I look anemic. I look so pale. Maybe it's the light. One second. Ah, I look straight at the light. No, I look even more anemic like this way. Damn it. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, The Chaos Gremlin. I am AJ and I am reacting for you guys. It has been a while, literally a while. It has been three months, three months. And I'm so sorry, but thank you for, to everyone who has subscribed since I last upload. I do apologize, I haven't been uploading at all. Honestly, I haven't had the energy. I've been slightly mentally just not there. So yes. Um, <laughs> But I'm excited to be back. I'm also going to be creating a second channel called uh, A Chaos of Pages, where I'll be doing like booktube stuff. So that's going to be fun. I don't know when I'm when I'm going to be posting for that because right now I don't have the time because I'm sorting a lot of stuff out. So yes, but let's get into it. So today I'm going to be reacting to She-Hulk because yeah, that's a uh, thing. <laughs> um, She-Hulk from the comics. I don't know much about it. I do know she's Bruce Banner's cousin, I believe. I don't know how she becomes She-Hulk or anything. I don't really know, um, which is really weird. Um, I'm not sure how I'm going to feel about this at all, because currently, so far, by all the Disney Plus shows that I've watched, Disney Plus superheroes Marvel shows that I've watched, none of them were good. I will be honest, none of them were good, except for Moon Knight. Moon Knight, <sighs> Moon Knight is fucking brilliant. Now that is a show. Sadly though, I've heard that there's not going to be a second season and I'm very, very furious about it. So yeah, because Moon Knight was the only show out of all of them. Loki, Falcon and the Winter Soldier, WandaVision, that was actually good and constant throughout the entire thing. WandaVision at the beginning was fine. It was really good. I was getting into it. And then the end was blase. Falcon and the Winter Soldier, the only part that I like about that was, of course, Bucky. Sam's whole arc and everything just didn't amount to much for me, especially the ending. It felt so forced. If it was more natural, maybe it would have been better, especially since it was so rushed because of COVID. So I don't know about that. And um, Loki, well, that's just a tragedy in itself because Loki is not Loki in that series at all. And the whole TVA thing is just a mess, especially now with Multiverse of Madness uh, that's just come out, honestly. And I watched that and it was fantastic. I loved it, honestly. And spoilers, Professor Xavier, seeing him and the way he died, oh my god, wow. <laughs> Anyways, so out of all the shows, I don't like Moonlight and I am dreading Miss Marvel. I am dreading it because Miss Marvel is not Miss Marvel. She's not who she is from the comic books. They've completely changed her powers, which I don't like. She would have been a brilliant way to extend the, the multiverse and bring in the X-Men to the shows and into Marvel in general instead of just shoving it into multi Multiverse of Madness, but they didn't, so it's a shame, so I'm dreading that. But I'm about to watch the official trailer that's been put out today. Um, She-Hulk Eternity at Law. Eternity? Eternity. Eternity. Attorney. Attorney. There we go. Attorney at Law. I can't speak. I really can't. <laughs> Anyways, so let's get into it. I hope you guys enjoy my reaction, and I hope I enjoy the trailer. So yeah, let's get into it. if my laptop wants to comply. <laughs> Being a superhero is a trial by fire. Okay. Who's gonna protect the world if not people like you? That's Bruce Banner. And there's She-Hulk. Ooh, she looks very CGI. Very, more than Hawk himself. I'm Jennifer Walters. I'm a lawyer. I have great friends. Can we get some shock, please? Okay, it's an emergency. deliberate exposition. Uh, demanding job. I just started a superhuman law division, and I want you to be the face of it. And a frustrating family. Because we didn't ask for this, but you still got to deal with it. Okay. The transformations are triggered by anger and fear. Those are like the baseline of any woman just existing yeah oh. yeah Bruce, I feel like if i don't transform i'm gonna die yes 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 no no <laughs> i just want to be a normal another i mean boy. she looks you good tell us where she hulk is jen you're a story now girl your ass looks crazy right now Oh, I'm not a 
superhero. That is for billionaires and narcissists and adult orphans for some reason. Is there anything more depressing than dating in your 30s? Yeah, this is the best date I've had in a while. Oh. Should we split some fries? Let's get those to go. <laughs> okay okay that was something else that was something else there was a lot of deliberate exposition in that trailer which sometimes i don't mind because you have you to convey shut up sometimes you have to convey things in a trailer which you can't always what that made no sense let me rethink that <laughs> Sometimes trailers have to deliberately put exposition through dialogue, which they don't actually include in the actual movie or show because they need the audience to understand something straight away. And that happens, like you see in Marvel trailers, most of the time you'll see the scenes that you see in the trailer aren't actually put in the movie because they need that exposition for the audience to understand the trailer, but they don't need it in the movie itself because there's already subtle exposition there that makes sense but at the same time i wasn't a big fan of it in this trailer there was a lot of it she hulk herself she does look very cgi and i'm not sure how to feel about it however i do like the hair the hair looks fantastic she does look a bit out of place i like that they kept the height and the bulk and everything however it seems she's got very good self-control unlike bruce banner originally because obviously we see in the avengers that he has to use his anger to bring out hulk but originally he had no control so whether this show is hulk teaching she hulk to have control i don't know there's no proper plot we don't know any proper plot from the trailer which is good doesn't give too much away so i don't know i don't know moon knight made me feel a bit more inspired and it made me have hope but miss marvel doesn't so i don't know where i am with she hulk visually i think it might be good because most of the time marvel is really good with visuals dialogue wise and plot wise i'm not sure how it's gonna go so i am nervous about it but i'm gonna obviously give it a try because it's marvel and i'm a, and I'm a massive marvel fan so we shall see very very soon apparently so yes and hopefully i'll be able to give you my thoughts on it as well i'm hoping to do a proper in-depth video of all the disney plus marvel shows because i really want to talk about them and debate about them with people so hopefully that i'll be doing that soon but it really depends on how my schedule is because obviously like i said i haven't posted in three months and that is my fault because i have been mentally just not there so yes but anyways i think overall the trailer itself i would give a six out of ten it definitely piqued my interest there were definitely areas where i laughed i'm like oh <laughs> so I, I don't know but i'm not gonna have too much hope for it because i had hope for loki and it was shattered after the second episode so yes we shall see <laughs> i want to know what you guys think comment down below your thoughts on she hulk if it is going to be just as good as moonlight maybe a little bit below or if it's going to be as shitty as loki so give me your thoughts i want to know everything you know everything you think about what's going to happen and please don't forget to like the video and if you are new to subscribe down below and press the notifications bell because obviously i don't post off often enough so you're going to want to be notified when i do post yeah <laughs> all right thank you guys i hope you enjoyed and bye